Um, this video is going to be split into two parts. Because I'm kind of enjoying myself, so I don't want to stop. Because usually what I do is I make a video and then I edit it. But, um, I make a video and then I edit it because I've had times before where it's, there was something wrong with the video, whether it was the sound or something in just the video itself. I didn't need to come up here. And that's kind of how I usually like to do it because if there's something wrong, plus... Um, I don't know if I got comments, but I never get comments on this on the series, so it's fine. That way I could get comments and get you guys' feedback. Let's see, uh, we can go to here. I think this is open. Because I think the puzzle piece stand is there. I have 11 jiggies. Missing four. Oh no. <laughs> didn't I say earlier on in the series that I didn't want to do Rusty Bucket Bay? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh man, it's biting me in the ass, isn't it? <laughs> That's funny that I never went back to Rusty Bucket Bay. Either that or I just never collected anything here. Let's see, if I open the thing, it'll tell me. Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> well, I know for sure this place sucks with the randomizer. Thankfully, I have eggs. Oh yeah, that was another reason I didn't want to do it too, because I didn't have eggs. Uh, yeah, I need to... Because I didn't have egg shooting in the beginning, so like, a lot of the stuff would have been annoying to have to deal with. A golden feather so that's gonna be good because i remember when i did my pla practice playthrough i didn't have the eggs and finding the boom box boss guy was such a pain in the butt and just traversing this area was so annoying to do especially if i wanted to get notes oh my god like good luck trying that this is gonna be a pain though Hopefully there's no enemy in here. Is there anything down here? Nope. What was I talking about before? Before I realized I needed to... I'm gonna need to grab all the notes I can. I mean, I did bypass the, the one note, but... I think it's much easier to get, like, the notes from a new world, whereas wasting my time on just one note. Like, if this was regular Banjo-Kazooie, I would definitely go out of my way to look for that one note. But since everything's... is a... Randomized, there's really no point. Alright, let's see what... there... where this takes me. What? He just disappeared. Okay, alright. And then we gotta be careful about this monster. Stupid beat. Oh my god, I hate this too. And the weird camera angle too. Oh man, this is so janky. Oh, it's the vents. Okay. It's like a lot of damage for nothing. There is some health here. Okay, this is a bad area. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to go back in that room again. Don't see why I would, but... Alright, uh, there... I could go back in here. Not because it'll take me to this room, but it'll take me to another place. 
That's another reason why this place sucks on randomized. Because there's just a whole lot of stuff that you need to go through. I just didn't want to take the damage from that. I think I'm going to do Boombox. Um, I'll just... Okay, I got some golden feathers here. But I might just leave and just... Get the golden feathers for that fight. Although I do have a decent amount of health, I could just use Rattata right Wrap. That way the fight isn't too bothersome. Okay. Thankfully I don't have to go exploring too much, just go back and forth a bit. Oh, what? Oh, that's interesting. I can fly here. Okay. Oh wait, but I need the to press the button first. Well, if I got a capture card, I would like to play Banjo or er, Smash Brothers. Play online. Maybe as a way to incentivize my me to play more of it with Banjo. Because I, I I was able to um, mod my Switch because it's like one of those ver versions of the Switch which is moddable. Let me get out of the water. That was close. That's very interesting that this room doesn't check that you have the... Um, if you've learned the to fly. I don't know why I was stumbling there. The view. Oh, I forget that you can do better turning with. If you hold R. That's a thing in sw when you swim too. Because it, it, it's... Uh, I think it affects your... It's like, I can turn a lot better when I'm swimming. Whereas normally, you can see Banjo's a little bit stiffer. I don't know, it, it definitely feels less stiffer. But I think that affects your walking too, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, probably doesn't look noticeable. I don't think I went down here yet. Oh. Now there's Boompox now. Let's see, maybe I can get a golden feather. There's another golden feather I can see. So I'll have two in this fight. Maybe three? Oh, I have four feathers? How did I not notice I had four? There should be enough to beat him, I think. I didn't notice my health was so low. Oh, that was close. I don't know why the eggs don't, like, do any damage. Oops. Since this is the last one... Did I die? Come on. <laughs> These eggs suck at killing them. I don't know why. Alright, that's good. Health is low, but I mean, that's expected in this. In Rusty Bucket Bay, it's just really rough here. It's so rough normally, and then take into account all the, like, unfair stuff with the randomizer. Um, if I could find a, a beehive, that'd be great. Oh, dang. <laughs> he went through the wall, dude. That's, <laughs> that's so unfair. Okay, um, what is my best, best note score? 34? Okay, that's not too bad. I'm probably just going here for the the easy jiggies and the and however many notes I can get. And here's the honeycomb place, too. Gotta remember to come back here in case I need it. It's a golden feather. How did I miss that? I couldn't remember what I was talking about before Boombox. It's unfortunate that my memory is that bad. I can remember what I was talking about a minute ago. Oh, I think it was what games I wanted to play. Oh yeah, Smash Brothers, because I, uh, yeah, because 
Oh yeah, because I was saying that I was able to mod my Switch because it's one of those older versions. And I got a... I was going to say mod chip, but the... What is it? It's the thing that lets you short circuit the right side of the Joy-Con rail. I have that. Do I need a... I don't need a Jiggy. Or a note. What's down here? Oh my god. Is it coming down here? I'm afraid because that guy's kind of resilient, being able to phase through walls and such. Alright, I just had to take my dog outside for a moment. Um, yeah, but the only thing I did when modding my Switch is I just wanted to get skins for Banjo Kazooie. Because I feel like the skins in, ba for, in Smash Ultimate are kind of lacking for Banjo. So, what I got was um, there's this guy I watch called JPlay on YouTube. He's pretty cool. Um, one of like the few people I know. Well, I don't know him personally, but like few people on YouTube that are, like play Smash, that play banjo specifically. He means banjo with I think a Lucina Legend uh, secondary because you know banjo is kind of a sorry because he's just a sword for the most point. Um, but yeah, he's he's pretty good with Banjo, and he, I think he commissioned somebody to get a Dragon Kazooie skin, and I was able to get that from them. I think they had it on their Discord. Um, but if you go onto his channel, I think he has a link to his Discord. He's J Play, uh, has like a Banjo videos on it, so you should shouldn't be that hard to find. This place always makes me stressful. Alright, um... But yeah, I got that there, and then I went to a Game Banana just to get a bunch of other... Bunch of other skins. I got the Nuts and Bolts skins, which I think are pretty cool. And it replaces all the Banjo skins with the Nuts and Bolts look. I know a lot of people don't like Nuts and Bolts, but I kind of like the style of the game a bit. The gameplay, not so much. But uh, I do like the style that the game has. But I know that's not necessarily a positive, uh, uh, a well shared opinion. But eh. I think the skin looks very good though in Smash Ultimate. Uh, I also got the N64 model that looks kind of weird. Let's see what else is there on this file. Oh yeah, that's right, these stop. I don't think this one stops though. Yeah. Uh, any other skins? Oh, I did get some like different colored variants. Like there's this, I think it's called Red Velvet. It's a very good color scheme for Banjo. But gotta be careful of this thing. Okay, it's just a mumble token. That's fine. Oh well. I didn't notice that guy. I heard him, but I didn't know where he was coming from. Let's see, is there anything down here that's important? A gold feather, probably. I can stop and check. Nope, nothing important. Let's get out of here. Okay, I gotta use A to slow down. I gotta f swim. Oh, I think I'm dead. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> I was puckering like you couldn't believe. You can make it. If you put some coal down there, <laughs> they put some coal in my asshole. It would be making diamonds. Uh, I can assure you that. That's how, how tight it was. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was very stupid. Uh, other skins. Uh, there's a a polar bear and a rival of Aether. Called, I think it's Aetilis. I think that's the name. Sorry if I butchered it. Um, but yeah, there's a skin for him that I liked. So I, I swapped it with the white uh, skin that he had in the game. 
So I think it was like a, it was a more icy color, so it's like a whitish light blue. It was a nice color scheme, I liked it. Let's see what else, I think that was it. And then I also made a uh, colored, I did other skins for uh, Yoshi, because I wanted to play Yoshi again. Because I think that was the character I played before, though I know people don't like Yoshi. I think it's because he's too simple. Um, people just don't like playing against him. He's just annoying. He's just throwing out aerials and they usually work. I can understand that. Another bad thing about Yoshi is he's a bad fundamentals character. Because a lot of the things he does doesn't apply to any other character. Like his shield, he doesn't get shield poked because it covers his entire body. Aw, oh, dang it. I think I'm just going to do this. Oh, you get two from that. That's cool, I didn't know that. These these lifesavers are going to be the death of me. It's kind of ironic. I hate how he's just floating there because he's like stuck on a certain height. Okay, there you go, finally. Fortunately, I had to like... What's it called? Damage boost through it? But whatever. Um, but yeah, for the Yoshi skins, I got like a... A Yoshi's Island skin that makes him like all cartoony. And uh, it was the Polygon Fighter Yoshi, which is really cool. I like that one. And then there's a, a Plessy skin. I, if I had to say, I'd rank it Plessy skin, the Yoshi's Island skin, and then the Polygon Fighter skin. Oops. Because the uh, Plessy skin kind of models Yoshi to look more like Plessy. It's not just like a color change. Um, and then the other character I got skins for uh, was Hero, but I got it so because I found that somebody made a Chrono skin of it, and I thought that was so cool. And it's like a full color set too, and it has like the whole cast of Chrono Trigger, and I think it's two other characters from Chrono Cross and Chrono Gears. I think I'm not too sure. But yeah, it has the entire party that you can get in a uh, Chrono Trigger. It's pretty sick. Because I feel kind of sad about how Banjo is in Smash Ultimate. I'm probably like, the only one who thinks this. But like, I feel like there could have been a lot more done. But I think during... I th I want to say it was around COVID around that time. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But like, there wasn't a lot of effort put into Banjo compared to the other fighters. And there has to be a reason for it. I don't know if it's just Sakurai just didn't care about it all too much compared to the other characters. Or, I don't know. But I felt like there could have been a lot more done. Like, uh, one thing I thought that they could do is with uh, Banjo's down air, it's this move. But I feel like what could have been a unique thing that Banjo could have had that no other character would have had is that in Banjo 2, if you hold it down, it turns into the drill, and I know that's his up smash, but um, I mean the characters use a lot of similar move sets, so I don't see why he couldn't reuse it there too as a unique mechanic. Because so that does like normal damage, but this does uh, a lot of shield damage. So like if the character shields it, what's gonna happen? What the hell is this? Oh, <laughs> I'm wondering what that was. So if a character shields the drill, it does a lot of shield damage, which would be really good because I think Banjo needs a move that does shield damage. Because I think the only thing he has is a side B. And you know, side, side B is not reliable. It's pretty uh, predictable. And it puts Banjo in a bad position if um, the opponent predicts it coming out. Because all you need to do is call center stage and Banjo's returning and pretty much here. Easy pickings for getting attacked. Also, I think um, his uh, down throw when it buries you, I don't think it's that good. It's super easy to mash out of, and it doesn't really let you get any good setups. Let's see, anything else? Nice. Um, there was something else. I think to fix the shock spring 
projectile because it always clanks on the side of the wall when it really shouldn't. Um, let me see anything else. I would have liked to see other eggs from Banjo when you can use like uh, the left button to uh, change because like the left button does get used by by uh, what was it Inkling, so they get that unique mechanic where I think it's uh, Shield B could be left button B almost um, the controllers. Because normally left and B, I think it's, uh, you hold your shield and you can move it, but you don't roll. Because normally if you hold your shield in, in Smash Brothers, at least in Ultimate, uh, you do a roll. But if you hold um, the shield button in B, it lets you move your shield without rolling. It's a pretty cool thing. It's a high level tech, I guess, because you know shield poking is important. That's why I kind of, as I was talking about Yoshi earlier, he doesn't get shield poked. I guess I forgot to mention some of the other bad things is that Yoshi only has one... he has... Uh, he doesn't have a recovery move. I mean, his egg uppy does let you get some air back, but it's only the one time. And uh, another thing is that his second jump gives you super armor, which is kind of good, but at the same time it allows for bad behavior. But it does let you do cool things. Yo Yoshi's, a, I think, an interesting character. Perhaps a bit simple, but I like playing him though. Because he's like my favorite Mario character. For personal reasons though. He has a couple of good games. Not many though, <laughs> unfortunately. I think it's what? Yoshi's Island? Yoshi's Story is kind of okay. I would like to play that on this channel. But it's been a long time since I played Yoshi's Story. I think I used to play it back... I never owned the game, but I used to always play it when, uh... Oh, shoot. <laughs> when Blockbuster was a thing, my family and I would, we would always rent it. It was one of those games. Because whenever it was my turn, I, since I love Yoshi, I would always get Yoshi's Story. If it was available. If it wasn't available, I don't know, like... I think we would get Banjo Kazooie or Mario Party or just whatever game I found to enjoy. I think I also got a Nintendo skin for Ness because I like Nintendo. I kind of like Mother One, but uh, it's I don't think it's a great game though. <laughs> there is a. a a hack of it made by Tomato. This guy's pretty cool. He's uh he's like one of the original Earthbound fans, and uh, he he did a translation of it and made it so that the game is a lot easier to play. I think if you had the Tomato Ring, is what it's called. It just makes uh it reduces the amount of wild encounters that you get, and the, you get increased experience. I think there's a should be a ladder over here. Um, let me see what else. Oh, you know, part of me kind of would like to play Earthbound or any of the other games, really, but. I don't know if I'd be good at, like, I don't know if me playing it would be entertaining, you know? I don't know, like, like Chuck O'Connor or something. It does a much better representation of what Earthbound has to offer. Um, so let's see. We'll have to go back onto the ship. Hopefully, if I go to here, it'll bring me somewhere on the ship. This might be a three-parter, actually. <laughs> 